In this video, I'll show you how to create a blank LibGDX project. There are three tools that I'll be using for the rest of this series, Java, Eclipse, and LibGDX. Eclipse is optional. You could switch it out for NetBeans or IntelliJ IDEA or whatever you want to use to edit your code. But Java and LibGDX are necessary. If you're not sure if you have Java installed on your machine, then download it and install it anyway. It will upgrade your current installation if necessary. Installing and running Eclipse for the first time can be easy or can be very difficult. I'll try to address some common problems and provide links in the video description to solutions. On the Eclipse website, choose Download. It automatically detected that I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'll download that version. There were a few error messages that came up when I installed it on my machine, but the installation succeeded anyway. I used the regular Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Let's launch it to make sure everything was installed correctly. It works. I'm going to disable show welcome screen on startup. I don't need it. And I'll close down these windows I don't need. Next is libgdx. To use libgdx, just download the setup app then run it to create a blank project. libgdx requires Java to be installed, but we've installed it already. The game will be named Kids Space Ridiculous, spaces are allowed in this field, the package is com.kidridiculous. This field must start with com. The game class is kidridiculous with no spaces and no special characters, like periods or commas. And we'll create a kidridiculous folder in the Windows user folder. We won't be using Android, so we don't need to set the Android SDK. And we'll turn off Android, and iOS, and HTML. We will need Box2D for physics. Hit Generate to start creating your blank libgdx project. It may take a while. You'll know you're done when it says done at the bottom, and it tells you three ways to import the new project. Okay, let's start up Eclipse and import our blank libgdx project. Alright, to open our new blank libgdx project, we need to import it into Eclipse. So go to the File menu, scroll down to Import. libgdx is a Gradle project, so select that and hit Next. project root directory will be the destination directory from the libgdx setup. Great, now the blank libgdx project is in Eclipse. To test our app we need to run it, and to run it we need to set up a run configuration. Go to the kidridiculous desktop part of the project, choose source, then com kidridiculous desktop, and double click on the desktop launcher file. Now when we set up the run configuration, we'll be setting it up for desktop launcher.
We will run this as a Java application because it's a standalone application as opposed to a Java applet which will be run in a web page. If the working directory isn't set up correctly, then we'll get an error when we try to run our project. The working directory is the location of our assets that we're going to need, such as pictures, sounds, and other files. Great! We see the Bad Logic Games logo on a red background. It works! At this point, Java is installed, Eclipse is installed, and we've created a blank libgdx project and imported it into Eclipse. If you've had any problems getting these three things to work, check out the video description. There might be a solution there, or leave a comment asking your question, and I'll try to answer your question.